and welcome back to the FRDC at Home. I'm volunteer educator Erin Marie, and today we're going to be exploring how animals in the Fraser River use their different shaped ears to thrive in their environments. This is a quick and fun experiment that can show us how things sound different depending on the size and shape of our ears. Over the course of its journey, the Fraser River is made up of 12 unique watersheds consisting of several different habitats and ecosystems. These animals developed unique adaptations to help them survive the hustle and bustle of different ecosystems. One way they do this is with their ears. To talk a little bit more about how animals use their ears to survive, we now go to my friend Alyssa. Thanks Erin Marie. Some of you may have noticed that there's a pretty wide variety when it comes to animal ears. For example, if you have a pet cat or dog, it's clear that their ears look quite different from our own. The outer ear, the part of the ear that we can see, also known as the pinna, plays an important role in our ability to hear sounds. It's shaped to capture sound waves, funnel them into our ear canal to the eardrum. Shape and size can affect how much sound an animal can hear, as well as the range of frequencies, how high, or how low pitched the sound is. Our ears are fixed on our head and we can't move them, but some animals can shift them around to make it easier to catch sounds. Some can even move their ears independently of each other. For example, gray wolves have extraordinarily strong hearing. Being able to pick up sounds from 16 kilometers away and four times higher pitch than we can. As another example, the Northwest white-tailed deer actually has a similar hearing ability to humans, but the big difference is that they can move their ears. Their ears are much wider than ours, and without moving their heads, they can rotate their ears to pinpoint where a sound is coming from. This is a useful ability to have when trying to listen for a potential predator, such as our great wolf. To get a sense of what this is like, try cupping your ears and see what you can hear. Does it sound different? Your ears haven't gotten stronger, but the shape of your ear has made the sounds in front of you much clearer while muffling the sounds behind you. Now, we're gonna get started. So, some things you'll need are scissors, some tape, uh, a good stapler, uh, colored pens and pencils. For the ears, we're going to be using construction paper, but feel free to experiment with different recycled materials like styrofoam or egg cartons or recycled containers. The idea is to just be creative and experiment to see what works. Once we have our materials, it's time to get crafting. Okay. First, we're going to be making a long, thin cone shape. So we start with our construction paper. We start down here at one corner of the bottom and we start to roll it. We just roll it in a kind of a, a tighter, thin line. You just keep going like that. And we keep going. And then we hold the bottom. We make sure there's a space at the bottom so we can hear. And then if you want to adjust your cone, change the shape a little, we just twist it at the top here. And now we've got our cone shape. We take our tape and we seal the bottom. And there we have our first cone shaped ear. Another shape we can create is a, a shorter, wider cone, kind of more like a cup. So we start by drawing a circle. So we're just gonna start, just draw this freestyle, there. And now we're gonna draw a line to the center. So I'm gonna draw a little mark in the center here. Give myself a line. Now, if you're young, please have supervisation when doing this, but I'm going to cut my circle out. There we go, and now I do this and I just cut to the center. Now, we're gonna take the two ends here and we're going to just sort of make it like that. Now that we have these two corners here, we're gonna take another piece of tape. We're gonna tape it, oops, excuse me. We're gonna tape it down here. And there we go, now we have another shape. Another ear that's a little bit more wide like a cup. 
Okay, next we will try our hand at making a leaf shaped ear. We're going to start by drawing the base and then we're going to go up here so we have a leaf shape. There we go. And now we cut it out. Now I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to fold these two base ends here together, bring the corners together. And then I'm going to take my stapler and seal it. Make sure that you have enough room at the base here and you have your leaf shape ear. Having created our new ears, let's try them out. Place your newly created ear shape over your ear and see what you can hear. You may find that your surrounding sounds are different comparing to using your own ears. Animals can move their ears to pick up sounds easier, so try this now by shifting the ear or flipping it over to see if it covers your ear in a different way. You can even try testing out your newly created ear outside Try them when you're outside and see how they affect how easy or difficult it is to hear certain sounds like bird song or traffic or the sound of your footsteps as you walk. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really hope you enjoyed yourselves and we'd love to see your crafts if you want to share them with us on any of our social medias. Thank you so much and see you next time on the FRDC at Home.